Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Basta Olga and you are watching my YouTube channel. Okay, right now I am gonna recreate one of my favorite makeup gorgeous makeup look, if it makes sense. So I was thinking a lot which makeup look to recreate and who is gonna be my influencer for this video. And um, it was such a tough decision, so I actually couldn't pick the one. That's why I have four favorite makeup artists. The first one is going to be James Charles, then um, who, Jeffree Star, Carly Bible, and Nikki Tutorials. They are four favorite makeup artists. And right now with the Google random gender number, um, we are going to pick the one. I've already picked the makeup look that I'd love to recreate. Okay, I have a piece of paper where I'm gonna write number one, Jeffree Star, number two, James Charles, then Carly Bible, and number four is, of course, Nikki Tutorials. So I have this kind of like random news, and let's see what the heck. And okay, we have right now number one let's just and it's three okay um three it's curly bible well 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 that's really interesting i mean i do really have her name it's number three cd curly bible Well, I guess I picked my makeup look. I don't know her in person, actually. Um, obviously, I have 10 subscribers. No, I guess I'm just gonna take off. I was wearing this kind of like um, jacket or so because I thought that like, I have really fat um, I have really fat arms. That's why I decided to put this on. But it's so hot in here that I just I think that it's better for you to think that I'm fat than I'm just gonna like burning inside. The video that I picked was Galaxy Inspired Makeup Tutorial full face um, okay I love this makeup look it's super fun to recreate it's super easy I guess to recreate at some point so um, I have a lot of different eyeshadow palettes so I don't think that I have pretty much the same one but she's using BH they're super affordable okay she's got okay first she's got some base um, I mean oh my god I'm sweating how am I supposed to do my makeup if I'm sweating Okay guys, what type of nightmares do you have in quarantine? Today I woke up just like screaming almost. Uh, I had the bullshit brows in the world and look at my brows. This is kind of like not happening, but I was super scared that something happened to my brows and I cannot fix it anymore. That's why, you know, like in quarantine we have a little bit different problems. So I don't really have the palette she's using in this video but I do really have really close colors so I'm gonna use them instead. Uh, yeah. Oh bless me. Start off today's look I am trying out the P. Louise eyeshadow base. I, I have actually uh, I don't have this eyeshadow base but I do have some product from uh, Makeup Revolution as well. This is gonna be like this white color right in the corner so please don't mind my nails because they are the worst like after this allergic reaction that I told you before still not good and this lid lingerie not uh, matte matte eye tint and as well as this liquid mix product I'm gonna use this white color that I showed you a couple of seconds ago and I guess I'm just gonna use my finger as well Makeup Revolution Maxi Reloaded Palette. Okay, let's have some fun. First thing that she's doing, I'm gonna grab my uh, linen brush and I guess it's gonna be from Beauty Bay. Beauty Bay linen brush, I don't really know which uh, brush she uses, but I do know that she loves Sigma brushes and sometimes Morphe brushes. And I guess the color I'm about to use is this really cute yellow color as she picks in her video to see how I feel about it myself. So for eyeshadow today, I obviously was inspired by my phone case. So I was trying to find a palette that had most of the colors. And luckily I found the new It's My Ray Ray and BH Cosmetics palette. So I'm gonna 
grab my Morphe M403 brush and what color is she using? I guess the closest one. I guess this color from the same shade of palette. Blending brush and applying that right into my crease. I'm then picking up this matte orange shade with a. Oh, like, wait. We're still in the step one. Uh, watermelon. So let's just take a pause. And it's it's watermelon. Um, well, I guess I have pretty much the same color. Oh gosh. Um, from the same palette. It's it's makeup revolution watermelon color. Wait, just, girl, you're so fast. Okay. Um, let's leave it this way for about like I guess I don't know. Eternity probably and um, What's next? Outer half of my Ma majesty I'm going back to Okay, um, well this color I Guess I just don't have one um, I think that I'm gonna mix this color with this one so we can get the closest color To the one she's using right now in the video uh, sure that I have the same color. Let's try to have this combination. The the dark blue and the lightest blue. Well, um, her colors are definitely more pigmented than mine and I have no idea why is this happening. I guess I'm gonna use my cosmic color from Makeup Revolution, a little bit different, kind of like a uh, Forever flawless and apply this. Oh yeah, yeah, boom baby. I guess I should have used this palette a little bit earlier. Oh, and she's got this beach ball. Do you have a beach ball? I don't have a beach ball. I have only nothing. I don't really have this color. So what if I'm using my OPV palette like um. Like, I mean, now I've been using like two palettes and still it's not enough. Uh, I don't have the exact colors, so I guess I'm gonna use my OPV palette and mix Glint with Intense. These two together. Let's, I guess, pick Frosty from the same OPV palette and apply this. Because I cannot see any color. I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna use this center color in the corner. Yeah, a little bit of this Neptune color. Then I'm gonna use my Spiral color. So I guess a uh, dimension goes right in the outer third. I'm still gonna wipe off some fallout and uh, she's using her highlighter. Okay, she's got Fenty Beauty uh, Sparkle Highlighter. Well, I don't have one, that's why I'm about to use my Essence Pigment. Yeah, that's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I'm gonna do my left eye off the camera as well, and I'll be right back and wipe off this mess underneath my eyes. What do we have? Today I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Concealer and Define the two, which I use every single time, and Wet and Wild um, foundation. So she's got really kind of like tint skin tone. That's why I am going to definitely need this Wet and Wild beige foundation. We're rolling this out right on my face. That's why it's time to what? Carly, tell us what is it time for? Do. 
And of course, Carla Bible is doing her contour. I don't have the contour she owns, that's why I'm just gonna do it with my Make Revolution Freedom Pro Contour Shaped Stick and her fancy concealer. Um, I don't have that concealer because it's really pricey. That's why I'm gonna use my Make Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. Just open it up. I finally have gone through some new makeup that I have not seen since. Okay, wait. Um, there's just like really a see. lot of going on. Okay, let's just see how it performs. So I'm just gonna grab my foundation brush from BH and start kind of like blending this out. Got it, but I actually really love the Fenty concealer. This was my first time trying it and I actually did go out to dinner after this look and I brought no makeup to touch up and my makeup stayed really nice. Now to set my under eyes, I'm using my favorite powder which is the Ben Nye. And uh, as well, I don't have this powder and uh, I'm just gonna use my regular one. And I'm just gonna be applying this underneath my eyes, also like around my mouth. Up really close to where the dark line is from her nose contour, and I'm just applying this with Wet and Wild Mega Glow Contour Palette. I'm gonna use a little bit kind of like this round shape brush and repeat the step. Top off and start kind of like with the real right hand, doing this contour a little bit more intense. Contour and just to kind of bronze up a little bit, and I'm just using such a light hand when applying this. You don't want to push too hard because then you will move the cream products around. Well, okay, so then she kind of like wiped off her powder, used a little bit of setting spray. I'm gonna do pretty much the same. And uh, what else, girl, do you have for us? Um, and blend everything together with a beauty blender. Then use some setting spray. It's gonna be Makeup Revolution Supreme Matte Finishing Spray. I don't know, I, I think that I'm gonna use the same palette that I used to contour my uh, face. Brighten up my nose area a little bit more. Just to add to it. And I'm also gonna go over that inner corner highlight and under my brows a little bit more just to give it a little bit more of a glow to the same It's My Ray Ray palette and I'm gonna I guess she used some purple and, and, and pinky colors that we used to create our eyes that's why I'm just gonna I'm kind of like use the same technique So I'm just gonna mix uh, my two lipsticks. The first one from Vivian Saba for ah Rouge Vintage, Vivian Saba Rouge Vintage 401, and then Elf uh, Natural 7801BL color. Okay, um, hold on, girl. Just hold on. I don't have her blush. I guess as you noticed, and I'm going to use this Wet and Wild Blush color icon. Mm. Well, I would have left a nude, but as a beauty girl says, a little bit of this gloss I have from Essence. Shine, shine, shine. I can definitely say that this makeup look is a little bit different from what she, I mean Carla Bible did, but I'm so proud of the final result. I think that so far this is one of my favorite and best makeup looks that I've done on my channel. I think that I'm gonna pick up some new techniques and try to recreate my new makeup looks using this technique.
I'd say for sure that I've never done this um, contour before, like nose contour before, like she did. I love the final result. I would definitely go out and have some date with my husband or even just go out somewhere with my friend with this makeup look. I love the final result. I think that this is crucially important to follow every single step and just kind of like obey without uh, doubting and asking some extra questions. So that's why it only this way you can get something really close to what the makeup core actually is telling. So subscribe to my channel. I love this makeup look and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.